Hi folks, uh, just giving a quick video on a new product, uh, open source design been released. Uh, it's the Naughty Control ST Wireless. Um, basically what this is, is an interface to Seatalk, so Raymarine Seatalk. Um, it has basically just this connector, which you connect to three wires, po positive, negative and the data. Um, what it allows you to do is control your autopilot using something like this, just a wee 433 remote, megahertz remote. Um, it also has other cool features like a, it's, because it's an ESP32 chip, it's got a load of stuff like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, all that stuff. So we can do like web interface and things like that there. Uh, so you can actually set up your buttons through the web interface and uh, remote control using that as well. Although it's much easier just to use something like this here. Uh, the plans for the future are, um, you know, iPhone watch or Apple watch, Android watch, uh, an app, a dedicated app for your phone, uh, open CPN, so it actually sends NEMA, NMEA data to that, so it sort of converts the CTOC stuff. Uh, so there's a lot of cool stuff in the pipeline. Um, it is open source, I'll stick a link down below. Um, it's just everything's a GitHub between the PCB designs, the source code, all that stuff. I also have designed a wee box for it. Uh, not waterproof, so it's one of those things that you keep in your cabin. So what I'm going to show today is actually just this thing working. So and how to hook it up and um, because we have one sale already on the website and it's only been sort of live a few days before Christmas I haven't really advertised it and um, so I'll probably stick some how to's on here as we go along uh, but yes today what we're going to do is we've got this one here it's been flashed and it's ready to ship out so what we're going to do is test it so uh, in doing so I will show then some of the functionality and, and some of things like the app and how or sorry, the, the web interface and how you set up buttons and things like that there so setting up is fairly easy uh, Basically, this is my sort of test bed wiring. So I've got positive data, uh, just the screen which is used for negative. Uh, so what we'll do is show where these relate to. Uh, so the first up we'll do is positive. So if we look at the board like this, uh, with the wee aerial here down at the bottom left, uh, the closest one to that, so the aerial, um, the closest one to this side. Yeah. So this one is positive. The middle one is data. And the last one up at the top here is the neutral negative. Uh, so what we'll do is using the very easy to use, just screw in things at the top. So we'll open them out. So you just open out like that. It's a very easy process. So we've got them out. What we'll do is feed the wire through. One thing to make sure is make sure you have it switched off before you start this because you don't want to be start sort of shorting wires and things like that there. So make sure all your power is turned off before you attempt this. Uh, feed it through the box. So you'll see the box here. Uh, so so we'll fit it through. So, they... so first up is positive. So we get that wire. And feed it through. Very simple. Tighten it in. So that's it tight. Next up is the data, so the middle one. Get it in good and tight. Don't want wires hanging out. So then we'll tighten that up. And that's the, the neutral then. So we've got all three wires in, just sort of make sure they're, that's it. So then we just slide that in back in here. Close the lid. The jobs are good. So that's our box ready to go. So what I'll do is I'll turn the power on. Okay, so that's it set up. So what I'll show now is the mobile, sort of how to set up your buttons. Um, what you need to do is get your phone, turn off mobile data. It seems to, it doesn't seem to work with mobile data on. Um, go to your Wi-Fi, um, and then you'll see 
naughty control. Uh, and I have it all set to automatically uh, thing. And the password is just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll stick it down below. Um, or just have a look in the 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 Git uh, the Git GitHub. Uh, so yes, yeah, so we've we've connected now. So if I go to uh, just my web browser and go one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot one, and you'll see it comes up like this here. Uh, so this actually, yeah, I haven't put it in dog. So, so you can kind of hear that. So I'm actually, and we can put it in standby. So then the other screen is setup. So that basically has all our buttons. So minus one, plus one, minus 10, plus 10, auto. So it's made for device up to basically eight. Uh, so some of the controllers, which you can buy on the website, have eight buttons, so a lot more options. Uh, the other thing you can configure is the race timer. So it's obviously it's set to five minutes for me. Um, so what that'll do is whenever I hit the race timer button, it will, start the countdown um, on the 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 timer display like I say ST60 and uh, this is speed one but I think it also works for tried data. So I'm going to hopefully show it working now with um, the ST60 timer. So it's basically just if you're in a race and you've got one of these uh, speed displays you can actually set timer mode, get a countdown um, but obviously the main thing is the autopilots. Um, I have an ST1000. This kind of works with any of the the C Talk um, autopilots. So there's a, a list in you know, the ST2000. There's a pile of other ones. I'll stick a list of the ones that use the old C Talk down below. Uh, so if it if it's on that, it should be fairly fairly straightforward to get it working with it. Um, I'm just going to now test and show on the app. So if I go in here, it's currently on. So I reload. So this is just the, the web page. So as I was saying earlier, so if I hit auto, you can kind of see now it's went to A on here. Uh, and then if I change this, so I'm doing plus ones, you can see that it's actually changing there. And then if I do it down, it does it as well. Uh, similarly, I've got this remote control and it's going down and going up. Uh, now I can turn it off on this one, and I can turn it back on. Um, I've got one of the wee four button ones, uh, similarly. So you can actually ha use as many remotes in this as you want. So yeah, so that's that. Um, finally, start timer. So there we go. So you can kind of see now the, the countdown has started. You can actually program this in on the app to be whatever it was. It's it's kind of a countdown from five, uh, which probably suits most people. But you can set the the, the variables in there, and uh, to be whatever you want. You can also reassign the buttons. So if you want to use the buttons for different things, you can use the the wee web interface to reassign them to be whatever you want. And um, the list of commands will be growing as I figure out how the C talk commands work and do a bit of testing. So the, sort of the next version of the firmware will have a few more commands that you can assign to the buttons and whatnot. Um, and if you have any sort of things that you want to um, work with this here, certainly drop us a line. Um, as I said earlier, we're kind of well. I'm kind of working on other things such as a Android wearable watch thingy, so it can control it as well. Because I think that was one of the, the people that said, um, "You can't always have your watch on you." So being able to control it from a watch would be pretty useful. So there you have it, uh, the ST Wireless V1. Uh, yep. So it, it does a lot of stuff out of the box now at the moment. Um, I am currently working on a lot of different new functionality. Um, being able to export to OpenCPN things like wind readings, uh, speed through water, stuff like that there, um, into an NMEA format. And uh, also looking at other things such as you know Android wearables, being able to actually press buttons on your watch and, and change the controls uh, rather than having to use the app or the wee wireless or the wee wireless doofers. Um, but yes, um, if you go through to the GitHub. All the information to build it should be there. Uh, if you go to the website, I do have some of these for sale. Um, built a few um, 3D printed cases, come with the four button remote. Uh, there's other accessories on there you can buy as well. 
uh, you can buy extra remotes that are already pre-programmed ready to go. Uh, even if you don't want to purchase directly, if you click the affiliate links on the GitHub, that'll help uh, support the project as well. Or even if you just want to make some code suggestions or put in some some of your own code or things like that, there would be greatly appreciated too. All right. Well, thanks for watching, folks. Uh, as I said, drop us a line, uh, give us a comment, uh, visit the web pages, and give us a like. All right. Thank you for watching. See you all later. Bye.